Welcome back. This is Tyrell VA broadcasting live from the Vault in Our Stars. We are in the middle of playing Days Gone. Um, probably right in the middle, although there have been like 30 episodes already. Um, last episode was super fun. We were just straying away from the main storyline and just kind of seeing what a normal day in the life of Deacon here. Deacon is a, a what do I always call him? A Daryl like person from Walking Dead. And he's got a motorcycle, he's got a crossbow, he hunts zombies, he's good at tracking, and and he's on this journey to find his wife who had supposedly died but was not in the helicopter that we thought had crashed down and burned and she may or may not be part of the government's hand in all of this zombie-ness. I was all very vague. Um, the storyline is kind of vague. It's very slow even though this is episode like I said, possibly in the 30s. But, um, but super fun game. The hard part of this game is that you can go through whatever storyline you want to, to get to wherever. And we are playing the He's My Brother plot as one of the main storylines. I hope it's the main storyline. I think it is. But I came here to give her something and all of a sudden this popped up. So I thought I should jump back on and make sure we were here for this. I said that we would try. Look, all we can do is wait. Because it don't sound like he's doing wrong. You know what? There's something I can do about this. I can get stopped. I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But well, you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Go. Look. There is nothing else you can do. Please. Just go home. Go home. Go home. We don't have the gas for that. Dick. Dick. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you see it. I was actually going to call yeah, it that, but I wasn't sure. So that was the name of the episode, so I did. Walk with Schizo to the last lake lounge. Oh, another one of these just walking with people. Let's give ourselves some health. Just this. Telling crazy stories. On the ground back in Fairwell when she went down. Mm-hmm. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Oh, we're gonna go to an airport? That'd be fun. He's doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross. Yeah. Getting it? Medicine, doctor shit, that cargo hold full of it. Maybe even... So you want me to pick up this shit from the Red Cross airplane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. Where? Where? Hey, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. At the airport. House. Oh. He's like, it's right here. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it. Now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. Uh, control crash or whatever. Mm. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this. Nope. Why not? Yeah, this all sounds very Still suspicious. Man. How long ago did this happen? Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. 
Everything West Why didn't the person who crashed everything Carlos, take it? Band of bald headed freak legs. So you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes. Okay, okay. Blah, blah, blah. I feel like no, 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 this guy's not helpful and he's just dramatizing First off, I'm not telling the storyline. My least favorite character. I don't know why. Second off, you're a guy Maybe because his name is Skizzo. Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble. Alright. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand up guy, right, Skizzo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. Hey. Girl, what? You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're I'm saying. I'm doing it. Saying. All day, forever, forever. Ah. Now you see. It. Oh, we have a bonus point too. I have fuse. Have to keep Boozer alive. He's my brother. Yay! The trust is increased to level one. Great. Um, yes, I guess that at least opens up stores and all these other things, although it looks like they were open before. It's going to take a lot to get to level 2. I don't know. I'd rather invest my points, trust points, whatever they're called, in... Copeland, because he has my bike and is working on it. And that's the whole goal of the game. To me. Boat. Other than that, let's check out this airplane place. Oh my gosh, I thought they were going to jump me. I was so confused. Y'all made me anxious. What's going on? Just getting out of the rain, maybe? It seems... Oh, that seems suspicious. Thank you. Hey, bike. How oh, I've missed you. Oops. We need to get some fucking ass as well. Where is this place you want me to go to? I'm sorry, have I not picked it up yet? Rogue Camp Infestation. Ain't doing that one right now. Burley Lake Ambush. Uh, what's going on? I'm going to leave town just to see if it activates something. Because sometimes it do that. Hey, St. John, you there? Yeah, Schizo, I'm here. <laughs> yep, okay, so now it activated Schizo's. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the Rippers there, if you know what I mean. Thought process. Uh, no, Schizo, I've got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime... Oh, shit. I just wanted that deer. That's all I wanted. <gasps> you threw my bike on the ground. Oh. Oh my gosh. Fucking... Now I gotta feel bad that I killed three dogs and waste my med kit and shoot a bunch of bullets and attract attention and lose the deer. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Okay, what were you saying? Nice try, Remember, I'm going out on a Don't make me regret it. 
This is just I'll life and day. Er, the day in the life of Deacon. Oh my gosh, this is the whole life. Family, what's going on? Murderers and thieves, the body. How many people been killed today, huh? What are you shooting at? Here you are. Sam. Say John. Back into the bushes I go. Here, Schizo. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you bro. That business we discussed. Oh, there's a whole shitload of them in there. Like, a lot. Well, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. All I said was, if you were thinking oh, about okay, I was gonna try to shoot them, but they seem to be coming out to me now. Now will be a good time to do it. You got me? Whoa, yeah, where are you going? Me, like always, I got you. St. John out. Your friends got your back. Just turn around. Turn around. They're like, well, I know you're in the bush somewhere. Hey, hey. Come on, show yourself. We won't okay. kill you. No problem. This wasn't how I wanted to do that. Oh. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if we can see. People are just walking past the windows. That person looks like... Is that my bike on fire? Hold on. I they done fucked up my bike. Okay. Go. I got that person. Oh, crap. They got me. Which I don't. Let's see if we can get some stuff off of these bodies over here. Body oddies. Like I had a bunch of things on them. Who else? We shot that guy. That person was next. Oh shit. Check your friend. Hey! Oh, yeah, your friend. Oh snap. Fall back! Sterilizer stuff. What do we have? Ugh. I need to heal my weapon immediately. What does that bring me up to? 35%? Uh. Let's take a chance. Keep her busy. Gotta stop moving some. Oh shit. Don't die. Can you get your gun out, please? Then. I don't see any more redness on my... on my map. Let's see if we can find some bullets. Good with all of that. Dang, that guy just ran out of there. He ran for his life. <coughs> sorry, sorry. So I go looking for gasoline for ever. I'm not quite sure. I literally walked the bike all the way back from the last episode, how that one ended, with the bear attacking me to death. 
Um, <laughs> I had to walk the bike all the way here because I could not find any gas anywhere. And now here I am in the same boat. Same bike boat. I think there's some on the back of this thing right here. How exciting is that? Yes. Now if I can just get back to my bike before nighttime without a herd or a horde or a pack of wolves <laughs> attacking me, I am in tip top shape. Need a up my med kits also. I only have two and I'm used to having like eight. So that's terrifying. Mm, oh, I should have picked up those berries so well. And now there's some mushrooms over here. Some swampy mushrooms. He doesn't put the gasoline tank down for mushrooms, I notice. But he does for other things. Uh, we must be getting close. Okay, let's pick up our bike as we just fling that thing. No, no, no. fire going on in the background or is that is my bike no there's something going on over there hmm that could be this red spot the ambush hunters interesting interesting is this where we're trying to get to Yes, sneak in there, steal the antibiotics. Good, I'm glad that finally popped up. Get some more of this meat before we save it next to this bike. I need to be so much better at saving than I am. Oh. Did I get it? No! All this shooting, something's gonna come up behind me! Sir, pick up the gas. You need that still. And fill your poor vehicle so we can get out of here and get going places. This second half of the map is like a lot more dangerous than the top half. Lots of bears already. I've ran into so many. Um, let's also Let's see what we can fix. Nice, nice. A hundred percent. Wonderful. Did I get all the meats? Every meats has got... Perfect. Get on your bike and let's... That seems like a ridiculous path. Why is it doing that? To get around this lake, maybe? Oh, it wants me to cut through that half part. I think I can avoid what you're telling me. By cutting through here. Yes, yes! Now, every time I see one of these semi-trucks, I think there's going to be a sniper shooting me. So let's hope not. Sniper, no sniping. Because this is such an open field. Yeah. Don't even tempt them. 
unfortunately, I'm awful with directions, so I have no idea where that herd was that killed me so many times. Um, and I could possibly be driving straight forward, or straight towards it. But we'll see. Oh, see, and I forgot to save it again. Mm -hmm. First off, did you see that rope there designed to make me die? Basically, this shit hurts. shoot either I don't think because that might cause a lot of rambunctious noise well the rope's cut now let's see what this will do I haven't seen many cars um, with the alarms going off so I guess I feel pretty fortunate about that. Could make something out of this. Okay. I'm disappointed that that all happened. But let's see if we can go through this with one life. One life to live. quite sure what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get the antibiotics. What are those people doing here? I don't think anyone else knows about the helicopter, otherwise there would be people here, which I mean, I guess there are people here. But then they'd also have it by now, right? That's a pretty little area, if I can imagine it more colors and people walking around nicely. Was that it? I think maybe there was just that one trap that was set and that's why those people were there to ambush me. And they have nothing to do with this other thing going on over here. That makes the most sense. Although, bad guy? Good guy. Bad guy? I need fucking ammo. One bullet. Out. Okay. Is that what I wanted to do? We have 14 bullets. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do. Look at this creeper coming up on me. Murdering drifters. Creepers. God damn it. No, no, no. What are you waiting to jump me? Huh? Someone's here. <laughs> Yeah, someone is here. Look at that. I'm right here. Back into my bush. Hi, my bush. And you have a ski mask on? If you're gonna kill me, you're gonna show your face. Don't care. Mm hmm. Okay. We also got some ammo. Maybe. Or just the option for different guns. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyone else coming to see their friend? Gas tank over yonder, I think. There's gotta be some... Medicaid or something in these areas. 
Don't be locked, don't be locked. Nice. If I was this lodge owner, I would definitely have a medikit around somewhere. Mm -hmm. Probably in the bathroom. Not the public bathroom, though. I'd have it in my own personal bathroom. By my office. Now this all looks ransacked. It's a nice place as well. get rid of these zombies here you could have this place pretty fortified I think there's literally nothing up here what the hell Oh, I shouldn't forget to pick up this person's stuff. Yeah. Oh, yay for bandages. I was like, what did you get? Tell us. Mmm. Zombie? Did I hear? Yeah, you got... Protection here, impossible food source. Because I don't think the zombies can swim. I like those games like Fable or... I mean, I guess Fable's the only one that comes to mind. That you can choose where to live in certain locations. Um... Because where he lives is in a very good place. Just in the middle of the woods. On a um, electrical unit type thing surrounded by a fence. Every other metal... What are they called? A cling fence? Chain fence? Whatever type of fence. The chain, chain link. That's why it's such a weird word. Um... Every other chain link fence that I've seen has had a giant hole ripped into it from the zombies. So, so until morning, got it, Deacon out. What's happening? We have to play all night. Don't know if this is a timed thing or not. If it is, actually, I'm gonna stop this here because this seems like the beginning of a good long mission to do, and I'll just restart a broadcast. I actually like these late night broadcasts. It makes me feel more like a a kid um, talking to my friends over walkie talkies or something. <laughs> um, but that being said, I'll just be right back, okay? This is Tyrell VA signing off from the Vault in Our Stars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you shortly.